And uh, thank you all for joining us here at Maxta and for taking the time to learn about the company and about what we do. And we would like to make all the presentation as interactive as possible so you will have the chance to ask any questions that you have and I don't think anyone here is shy. You don't have a lot of choice there. Yes. Uh, and uh, learn as much as you can about the company and most importantly about the, the technology. My presentation is going to be a little high level and then we will go into deep dive. Uh, but if you have any question during my presentation, feel free to ask. So basically, Maxta is about maximizing the promise of hyperconvergence, which is a new approach for IT. Since the company started in 2009, it was very clear that traditional IT is too complex, too expensive, and doesn't scale well with virtualized environment. And the main reason is that while server virtualization redefined computing and enabled new level of simplicity, availability, agility, and cost, Enterprise storage didn't keep up with those development, and legacy storage systems that were originally designed for the physical data center and are a good fit for the physical data center are just not a good fit for the virtual data center. Hyperconvergence in general, and Maxta in particular, are addressing this challenge with a design that better align compute and storage. The benefits from hyperconvergence are choice, simplicity, scalability, and overall cost. Maxta is unique in that it maximizes choice by enabling customers to deploy hyperconvergence on any server platform using any hypervisor and any storage configuration. We maximize simplicity by enabling our customers to manage applications and virtual machine and not so much storage. We maximize scalability because we enable scale out, scale up, and we have a way to independently scale compute and storage so you can have the entire spectrum of scalability options. And we also reduce cost uh, by reducing CAPEX and OPEX, and I'll discuss all of those things in more detail later. Maxa is a VC-backed company, and we are blessed to have top-tier VCs as our investors, Andreessen Horowitz, Intel, as well as Tenaya. And <coughs> our customers have been deploying Maxta in production for more than two years now. Our first generation of product is generally available since December 2012. Today, we are in the third generation of product and we'll discuss it more in details later. We are delivering our solution to the market in two form factor. We have a software only solution, the MXSP Maxa storage platform, as well as a appliance form factor, Maxta Max deploy appliances. Any questions so far? So the idea behind Maxta is pretty simple. Rather than have a set of systems that run applications connected to another set of systems that store data and provide storage services and data services, we converge compute and storage to run on the same set of standard servers. We also assume that there is some abstraction layer at the compute side. This could be VMware virtualization, KVM virtualization, Linux container, and in the same way that server virtualization is aggregating and pooling compute resources across all the servers to be allocated in the best possible way to applications, we at Maxta are pooling and aggregating storage resources across all of the servers to allocate them in the best possible way to applications. We also provide the data reliability, data availability, and data protection, as well as no single point of failure that you should expect from any enterprise class solution such as ours. At Maxta, we always align our storage constructs with the abstraction layer. So for example, if you are in a KVM environment and you've got KVM virtual machines, we align our storage construct with KVM virtual machines. This alignment and our policies that let you specify storage requirement on a per VM basis and the design that let you implement all our data services on a VM level provide a lot of benefits. So it simplifies management, provide all the uh, data services at the VM level and that gives you the OPEX savings. In addition, since we entirely eliminate the need for storage arrays and storage networking, and since we leverage the flash performance as well as disk drive capacity and provide a set of capacity optimization features that Kiran and uh, Christian will get into details, this gives you the, the CAPEX savings as well. Any questions? Okay. 
So as I indicated earlier, we are delivering our solution in two form factors. There are customers that have a strong preference for a software-only solution. Service providers, for example. So we have been talking to a lot of service providers, and most of them indicated they would like to build their own hardware infrastructure and are looking for a software solution that will transform their hardware infrastructure into a hyper-converged infrastructure. For those kind of uh, customers and use cases, we have a software-only solution. It can be purchased on a perpetual or subscription basis, and it basically enables you to hyper-converge any x86 server uh, environment. And you can do it for existing environment, and also you can use it to also leverage the feature and functions of Maxta, as well as the latest and greatest in technology. So if you want to use the latest Intel platform, or NVMe storage devices, you can do it and put Maxta on top of it and get the latest and greatest hyperconvergence. At the same time, there are many customers that prefer the appliance experience. They prefer the simplicity of ordering, simplicity of deployment, as well as the peace of mind that come with an appliance. For those kind of customers, we have been working with multiple server vendors as well as white box vendors and partners to create appliances so our customers can purchase an appliance from one of our partners. The appliance is pre-configured, is pre-loaded with software, and in 15 minutes from the time that they power it on, they, they, they can create virtual machine and they can start deploying applications. To further improve the appliance experience, we got tools that let customers determine which appliance is the best fit for their environment. You can go to our website, uh, we have some of the tools on our website, and we have a configuration tool. All you need is to specify is the use case that you've got, the uh, server of your choice, you can choose from multiple server vendors, the amount of capacity that you need, or the number of VDI clients that you want to support, and based on this, we will let you know which appliance is the best fit for you, and then you can order it from one of our partners. So again, we are simplifying and providing more of the appliance experience. At the same time, many of our customers also uh, like the software only, so we do both. So in terms of fulfillment, are you sending the bill of materials off to <coughs> someone or giving me a, something fixed, or is this really just a reference design? No, 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 it's not a reference, it's a SKU. So our partners have a SKU, okay. and you order an appliance. The partner what, is doing the integration. What level partners are we talking about? Resellers or Avnet? Uh, reseller, distributors, and uh, we are working with more. Okay. So uh, we have multiple distributors that can package it for you. We also got some channel partners that do the same. Right. But at the end of the day, to the customer, and we actually announced a partner program just recently, and one of the benefits of the partner program is the ability to create Max Deploy appliances and give the channels and the distributor the, uh, the, the reasons to do it. Okay. So. Any more questions on our deployment? So when topic? you said that you can use any any hardware, et yes. cetera, that you want, what you mean is any hardware from a defined list of vendors with a defined list of potential uh, object types as opposed to just any servers that happen to be sitting on the floor. For the max deploy appliance form factor, if you are using our MXSP, mm -hmm. you can use any server platform that is on the HCL list of the virtualization vendor. So let's say you are using VMware. If the server is, HC, is on the HCL list, mm -hmm. we will support it. We support from, actually from VMware 5.0 update 1, we support the entire HCL list. Okay. But uh, if you want the appliance experience, we do not have the bandwidth to you know, certify all And that's servers. why I was asking. In this case, you have a fixed amount of appliances that we have determined that are giving you a good spectrum. Now, if you think about it, Look at the industry. The industry either have a software only, like us, or they have a single or at most two appliances. We provide mm -hmm. much more than this. We provide many more appliances, so we give more choice. Sure. But you're absolutely right. We don't have the bandwidth to mm -hmm. provide appliance of any vendor because one of the value is we have spend a lot of time certifying that the appliance is really going to do. We also mm -hmm. provide you performance uh, characteristics, so you know exactly how, many, how much IOPS and latency you're going to get. Perfect, thank you. So um, our customers have been deploying Maxta in multiple use cases. In the interest of time, 
I'll provide the customer example for each use case. I'll explain why this specific customer choose Maxter. So we have a mining company that had a project to improve their email application. They are using Exchange. They wanted to start with a configuration of 14,000 Exchange users, knowing that they will have to scale by more order of magnitude over time. The reason they choose Maxta is Maxta provides a very simple solution to deploy and to manage. It provides very good performance for their initial configuration. They could linearly scale it over time, and then when they tested the performance, when they scale it, and they scale it by scaling the number of servers, the number of users, the performance did not degrade. So in this context, this solution was much better than any other solution that they uh, looked at because they didn't fulfill all of those uh, characteristics. We have a future. So in that case, the Exchange Mail Server was running on uh, a maxed uh, solution, and the storage was co resident with the Exchange Server. Yeah. So in this case, we run VMware. This is a VMware installation. They run Exchange Server, Windows on, Server, on, and the ESX on an ESX, and they had multiple of those ESX. And the Maxta data store was the exchange repository. So everything was just a couple of servers. That's it. And a couple of servers provided, for, provided support for 14,000 exchange users. So the, you guys were, make sure I get this straight, were using the Maxter data store itself as a proper SAN, not just as a uh, LANI zone for VMDK files. Absolutely. Maxta is about providing an alternative solution to network storage. Now, people are calling it server SAN or hyperconverged. I'm not going to go into the marketing mm -hmm. definition. The idea of Maxta is we are leveraging server-side storage resources rather than a network storage. In that configuration, Exchange servers were running as VMs. The Maxta storage solution was also running at VM on the same ESX hosts. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now, another use case is a food services company. Uh, they have multiple remote sites and distribution center all over the world. They initially deployed Maxta in the US, and over time, they expanded internationally. Their challenge was that they couldn't justify storage array in each one of the remote offices. It was too expensive, but more importantly, too complex to manage. So they didn't have the skills in the remote offices to manage storage arrays. But at the same time, they needed the reliability and the availability that storage arrays provide. They uh, used Maxta and they selected Maxta because it's very simple to manage Maxta. You don't need any storage skills to manage Maxta. Any VM administrator can manage Maxta. And they got a very cost uh, attractive solution also in terms of CapEx. And most importantly, we met the data reliability and data availability requirement. So they pulled drive, they let the server down, and we actually met the requirement in terms of data availability and what they should expect compared to a storage array. Our competition in those two cases was a storage array. Uh, we have a city that uh, use, is using Maxta for the VDI deployment. And the reason was they wanted a simple solution and the criteria was the cost per VDI seat. And in both of those uh, requirements, Maxta was better than all the other solutions that they were looking, provide good performance at a good cost per seat with a simple solution to manage. We have a government agency that is using legacy storage system in their primary site, and we couldn't convince them to ever change it. But when they were looking at their DR site, they decided a storage array is an overkill. It's too expensive and too complex to manage, and therefore they decided to deploy their DR on Maxta. So they are basically having a primary site on legacy storage array and a DR site on Maxta. Uh, we have a technology company here in the Bay Area, actually very close by, that uh, their main challenge was too much interaction and to be fair, too much friction between the development organization and the operational team in the context of development and test. Well, we have seen this a lot. So they were looking for a solution that actually make the development team independent of the operational team. With Maxta, what they did is they created an environment where the development team could develop their stuff, could test it in an environment that does not require the 
operational team to be involved. They didn't have to ask for storage, and when they were done with the test, they needed to reclaim or, or to recycle the storage. They had their own environment. Their development time improved, their time to market improved, and the entire organization is much more efficient because of Maxta. Last but not least, we have a managed service provider that we have been working for quite some time. Their requirement was to have a VMware environment because they have VMware customers, a KVM environment because they got KVM environment, and at the same time, their strategic direction is to move to OpenStack. They believe that they should move to OpenStack and leverage OpenStack as their strategic direction. Maxta was the option that they choose because we support VMware and KVM, and at the same time, we provide full integration into OpenStack, which provide them the future strategic direction that they needed. So as you can see, Maxta is a very compelling hyper-converged solution used for multiple use cases and is addressing customer challenges today.